Let's take a walk through the Sonic Rangefinder demo LabVIEW project. Here I have the Maxbotix MB1010 Sonic Rangefinder connected to MXP connector A. I have the Sonic Rangefinder demo operational right now. The primary display is the range to the target. The MB1010 has a 254 inch maximum range and if you like you could double click on that upper limit and change it to 254. I'm going to go ahead and reduce it to a different value of 80 so I can see my particular range a little bit more clearly. At the moment I have the rangefinder pointed up at the ceiling on my lab bench. Holding an object above the rangefinder now at about 15 inches. Let's try moving it here and there a little bit so sure enough we can see that the range is being detected. I'm going to cover the rangefinder transducer and you see that it bottoms out at 6 inches. In fact, you may wish to set the minimum value to 6 inches on the display. Now let's start taking a look at the details of the block diagram. We have three regions, the configuration region, main measurement loop, and then the shutdown region at the end. I'm making use of three sub-VIs from the MyRio advanced I.O. area, particularly looking at the UART. You have configure serial port, read characters from the serial port, and then close down the serial port at the end. Let's begin with configuring the serial port. You have two serial ports available on MyRio, one of those on MXP connector A and the other on connector B. The MB1010 Sonic Rangefinder needs a baud rate of 9600 baud, 8 data bits, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control is required. The Sonic Rangefinder separates its measurements with a carriage return, and I'm using this as the termination character. Now here I have Visa Read set up to read at most 10 characters, but when the carriage return is detected, it immediately returns the string just prior to that carriage return, and it displays it right here. Typical string that is going to look like R followed by three digits, and the carriage return has been removed, and that means that the string contains just the four characters. At this point, I use scan from string located under the string subpalette. The format string indicates that we're looking for an unsigned integer, and this one offset skips over that R at the front of the string. The three characters are then interpreted as a single integer value displayed on the front panel. Now I'll finish off by looking at the propagating error cluster. At this point, the error cluster is ORed together with the stop button on the front panel. Either one of those conditions breaks us out, and we close the serial port and finish with simple error handler. Normally I would place the delay element here to pace the loop, but the rangefinder is already doing so. It paces the loop at 50 milliseconds.